Hi guys, today we are going to look at how to compare two strings in uh, Java. So there are two different approaches of for comparing strings in Java. Let's go ahead and check both of them. So I'm going to create a new class where we are going to demonstrate how to compare a string. I'm going to add main method to this and let's name this class as compare strings. So this is our class having main method. Let me go ahead and delete this comment. So there are two, two ways of comparing strings. One is via equal to equal to operator and second is using equals method. So let's see what is the difference between them. Now we are going to have our first string, which is str1. And I'm going to create string in double quotes, which is hello. So this is a first string, pretty straightforward, str1 points to hello. Now I'm going to have one more string, str2 equal to, I'm going to have same content in this, which is hello. So just keep in mind, whenever you have strings which are directly defined in double quotes is referred to as literals in Java. So str1 is pointing to a literal hello and str2 is also pointing to the literal hello. That means only one object will be created in the string pool constant. For every literal, an object is created in string pool. So this is also a very important question. So where do literals reside in Java? So the answer is string constant pool. So let's go ahead and compare these two string references. str1 equal to equal to str2. I'm just using if condition to compare these two references. Uh, let's print out references are references are equal. So I'll add string references are equal string references are equal and if they don't point to the same string literal then we can say string references are not equal so let's go ahead and add this okay so in our case string one points to hello string two points to hello that definitely means um, both the references are equal and pointing to the same literal in our in your string constant pool so let's go ahead and run this string references are equal. That's perfect. Now there is one more way of, uh, of initializing your strings and that is using a new string constructor. So let's go ahead and check that way as well. New string. This time you can see I am directly using a new string instead of passing uh, the string in double quotes. What I'm doing, I'm using the new string constructor. So this is another way of instantiating your string. In this case, now the objects will be created in string, objects will be created in the heap. Uh, there will be two objects in the heap. One, uh, str will point to one object, uh, which, which is hello, and str2 will also point to another object. So these are two objects uh, because we are creating new object, new string objects. So there will be two string objects in the heap. And now we can't do the actual comparison using equal to equal to operator. If you try to do this comparison, so as these two are different references, so let's see what will be the output. You can see string references are not equal. Though they have the same content, still the references are different. So how to compare string in, in uh, this case? So there is a method to compare string there is an equals method. So equals method, and you are going to pass string str2. But this time it is not comparing for your references. It is actually comparing for your content. So string contents are equal. And here I'll write string contents are not equal. So let's go ahead and see if the string contents are equal. So I'll run as, I'll run the Java application string contents are equal because both the strings have hello and they are two different objects. Now, instead of hello, I'll go ahead and type by. So let's see if the string contents are equal and definitely it's not. So it should say string contents are not equal. Perfect, string contents are not equal. So in today's video, we saw how to compare your string using equal to equal to operator and using equals method. Oh, I'm hoping that you are enjoying this series where we are discussing uh, the interview questions one by one. Uh, we also have training classes. So if you want to get trained on either Java or AWS, 
you can uh, give us a call on the number which is in the description or you can send us an email which is also in the description thank you guys for joining see you in the next video